Do you think proper sex education can prevent things like acid attacks and rapes also? If you were teaching sex education, where would you start? Okay, so we were talking about how sex ed should start with teaching about emotions. The very first emotion that should be taught is how to deal with rejection. All of us, and I mean all of us, will face rejection the first three, four, five times that we're attracted to somebody. You will like somebody, they will not like you back. It is the most normal thing in the world, unfortunately. Yes, it hurts, but it is absolutely normal. It happens to everybody. Somewhere, however, we've come to believe that if you like somebody and they don't like you back, your life is over. You know, what will people say? Your friends will laugh at you. People will make fun of you. Your honor is at stake. And that's where the violence begins. The acid attacks, the stabbings, the rapes, suicide. So if we can normalize this very, very normal thing called rejection, if we can actually start by teaching this, I think it will certainly contain the seeds of this kind of sexual violence. It may not actually stop the world crisis, but it's a super important place to start. So maybe this should also be a note to parents and teachers that when kids come to you talking about desire, talking about attraction, instead of shutting down that conversation, because that's what we automatically do, we need to start explaining that attraction happens. It is not a sin. And what are the emotions that go with it?